meet the biggest Harry Potter fan. Harry, Harry, Harry. I'm one of your biggest fans. My friends call me a loser and all the names in the book, but they just don't get it. If only I could meet you someday. You'll be great. Hey. What were you doing? Oh, nothing. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. You're hiding again, right? You're the biggest Harry Potter fan, but you're just too embarrassed to admit it. No, of course not. No, no, no. They got it all wrong. No, we heard you. I heard you. Oh, it's it's on the camera. The film, that it's one. on the so, camera. Come on. Taking the film. I look, it's 12 right. No, anyway, listen. We're going to making of Harry Potter Studios in Watford Junction. Yeah, so Wonder right. if you want to join us. Uh, right. Sorry, what do you say? We're going to the making of Harry Potter, the attraction site. Are you interested in that? Am I interested? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Hi, you're watching the Hayati channel. Today's work is going to be the making of Harry Potter, which is based in Hertfordshire. We just got on the shuttle bus for Harry Potter. It costs 250 each for adult. Uh, it's a return ticket. This is the ticket that you are seeing right now. We're gonna pick up our tickets. I have to do a hard press. Yeah. Okay, so use your fingernails, it works a bit better. So I'm oh, gonna okay. type in your confirmation then. Cool. Hello, the date is Tuesday the 5th of September and we're here to check out the one and only making of Harry Potter which is owned by Warner Bros. We waited about three months to book this place. Let's go and check it out. Uh, we've just done our security search, just entered. This is very impressive actually. These are all the characters, isn't it? So, okay. here we go, Ron Weasley. Yeah. Then we've got Sirius Black, I think. Then we've got the Weasley twins. I can't remember what that lady's name is. Then we've got Hagrid. Hagrid. Then I can't remember his name. That's Lucius Malfoy. That's Ron and Harry. That's Hermione. 
That's Mad Eye Moody. And that's potentially Harry's mum and dad. I don't really know. Oh, it might be Mr. and Mrs. Weasley actually. Whoops. My bad. Then around the corner there, not sure if you can see properly, is Professor McGonagall. Then we've got Hermione again. Then we have Professor Dumbledore up here. And then we've got Harry here. Then that's Voldemort. Then we have Ron over there. We've got Ginny over there. I'm not sure who that lady is. Then Harry Potter. Then we've got Professor Snape there. And then we've got Tracker Malfoy. You forgot one. And then we have... That's me. I should be on that poster, not these this guys. This guy. I deserve. Look at my t-shirt. Yeah. This guy who likes London attractions. Okay. I'm the one who got you these vlogs, so I deserve to be on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is true. He is like the main character yeah. of this vlog. Harry lives with his uncle and aunt and lives in the cupboard under the stairs. So that was in the film? In Privet Drive, yes, his first bedroom. This is one of the original pairs of glasses worn by Daniel Radcliffe. On completion of filming, he asked to keep a pair of the mementos. This is the stairs under his room. This is how they film, right? For the stairs. Or videos either in this room. Do we have any Harry Potter fans here today? Yeah. Fantastic, you are all in the right place, and as some of you are probably aware, we're standing somewhere pretty special. We are in the entrance hall to Hogwarts, and you're also here during our Wizarding Wardrobe Summer feature, which means you'll be able to see lots and lots of additional content today. Now, is anyone in here celebrating a birthday? Welcome to Hogwarts. Now give those doors a gentle push for me. Just push it for me. Keep pushing. Keep going. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> now if you'd like to make your way in as this is the Great Hall. This was one of the first sets ever constructed for the film series. And as you can probably tell, it was also one of the largest. It's done on South Stage B, which is just across the car park to your left, on our working studio side for over 10 years. For 
just reptilian sort of snake-like design. This is done very deliberately, because as we all know, not very enough package dress is the that mimics in his costume, which is pretty cool. And then again, just to show you how pompous he is, he's actually created... Wizarding wardrobes. I see smoke coming. It was as if I was stepping into the pages of the book. Especially for a young boy, it was truly magical. And now that you're here, walking onto the same sets we've used for all these years, I hope that you too can feel a little bit of that magic. One of the fun things you'll see here today is that many of the interior sets were all built under the same roof. So Dumbledore's office was sometimes back to back with the Weasley Burrow, which was then just steps away from Hagrid's hut. In fact, it's fairly common to step off one set and finding yourself somewhere different entirely. Come this way and see for yourself. Just try not to get lost. Is that the sleeping room? Yeah, Who's boys. Boys don't miss. Boys only. Let's see how it works.
now let's try move number two. Forbidden Forest. Spider webs. Is that plus nine, nine and a quarters? Guess who's luggage? George. George Weasley. Train track. That must be very, very expensive, isn't it? Just assumed I'd play the part Of keeping you in the right direction No matter how your confidence may fall I'll be here as your foundation And I say hey Well, Harry Potter's house. I mean, Harry Potter's house. Now we're entering Harry Potter's house. Wow. Four. Can we knock on the door? Can you get me knocking? Destruction. It's hard to focus on the Everyone's invited. Yes! It must be the likes of Uh huh. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at What's this house that? Huh? Can you get me a nick on the door? Did anyone open? <laughs> it's not a real house, so no, they weren't open.
Okay, so how much did you pay to get here? We paid £39. Yeah. But we had to do it like three months advance because it gets really, really packed. So highly recommend. Do it very early. Okay, and yeah. how, how did you get here travel-wise? Uh, we took the public transport. So we're from London, from London Euston, which came to Watford Junction. From Watford Junction, there's a shuttle bus which costs about £2.50 return. So we took that straight outside cool. this place. The shuttle bus is actually... I think it stops right right the side over there. Yeah. 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 Okay. And how long yeah. do you, how long would you say it takes to get from the station to? Uh, from the yeah. station to here, probably about um, twenty minutes. I'm not too sure. Okay. Roughly. Yeah. Would you say it was worth it? If if you're a Harry Potter fan, definitely. I mean, you can't be living in London being a Harry Potter fan, not visiting this place. 
Uh, but if you're not a Harry Potter fan, I'm not too sure. You may or may not like it. I'm more of a, you know, adrenaline junkie. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't come second time, but first time is all right, you know. Okay, how much would you say it's actually worth, like, to pay to actually come here That's if you one. if you? So considering that, I'm not a fan. I wouldn't say thirty nine pounds. You want to come over there? I wouldn't say thirty nine pound is worth it. But if you're a fan, you might you're gonna have a different view on this. Um, I found the visual effects, the green screen part, to be very impressive. Pretty much most of the stuff is very expensive. If you're gonna buy merchandise, super expensive, mm -hmm. overpriced. DVDs, photos, photos, they start something like 14 pounds. It's yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. But what, what do you think? Do you think it's worth it? I would say that it's not worth 39 pounds. I would say maximum, even for fans, I would say 20 pounds. I agree with that. 20 pounds is a reasonable price for going in there. And the photos and stuff needs to be cheaper because photos it's definitely one, cheap. one photo for 14 pounds is too much. I'd say sort of six, seven pounds is probably the limit. What was the customer service like? Customer service was good, didn't have an issue at all. Very good. Opening times, I don't know. Do you know the opening times? Um, opening times, I think, were from 10 till 10. Are you sure? 10 till 10. Well, they said, they said when we went in that they were open till yeah. 10 tonight. Okay. Who would you recommend this place? If you're a hardcore Harry Potter fan, yeah, yeah this is definitely for you. Come and you can find out all the little details about how they made the movies and that kind of thing. But I wouldn't say, if you're not a Harry Potter fan, yeah. nah, it's not you really... You may not like it. A lot of people do like yeah. it though. You don't have to be a fan. Maybe you've seen the movie, you just appreciate the film. Yeah. You like to see how it was all filmed and made. Mm. I think also, another point, if you're into filmmaking, cinematography, uh, videography, that yeah. might really interest you. Because end of the day, it's all about the making of Harry Potter. It's to do with the films, whether you're a costume designer, maker, producer, director. It's the whole... The point is, to, is, to, is about this, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Please subscribe no, to the Harry channel. You're really not Harry Potter, you're Hedwig.